Okay, today we are going to talk about how to do some tax research, uh, specifically with RIA Checkpoint, or you might hear it referred to just as Checkpoint, and as well as the regular library database. So let's say you have an assignment like this in Accounting 406, Module 1 Critical Thinking, where they're asking you to specifically use Checkpoint to analyze the American Taxpayer Relief Act and the Tax Cut and Jobs Act of 2017. Okay, so I'll show you basically some easy ways to do this. So here is the library website and what we're going to do is go to databases. Let's talk about Checkpoint first. It's a specific tax and accounting database. So I would go, instead of up here, most people would go up here and just search. We'll talk about this later. Let's start off going to databases and I'm just going to click C here and there is checkpoint right there and it works in a very specific way for this kind of thing um, it's going to be very frustrating if you type in your search terms right here I frankly I can't find much useful with this search box on here but if you scroll down right here this is very useful scroll down to the table of contents and in the table of contents for this, what we're talking about here, go to this federal library, open that up, click that plus sign, and then open up tax legislation. Now it lists major tax legislation here that we can look at. Now here's the complete analysis of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. So there's the first one we're looking for, and these are great. I'm going to click the plus sign there, and uh, we'll just take a look here. <clears throat> complete analysis of the Tax Cut and Jobs Act. So I'm going to open this up here. Or organization of the complete analysis. Let's open up the organization of the complete analysis so we can see it. Okay, so this right here is great. The complete analysis of the, of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. This might be all that you need. Let's click on this and take a look at this. And this is great. It really is a complete analysis of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. And it is big. And it covers pretty much everything you would want to know about this. It is truly a complete analysis of this. It's great. It's truly great. Now, one thing that is strange with this database, that the folder option does not work very well. There's a folder option where you, I think it's right here, you could save it to a folder. This doesn't work very well. It'll ask you for an extra username and password, which is very difficult to set up. What I would do, I would just download this. So click right here, export this document. I export them as PDFs when I do it. And then I would just export it. And then you can download it and save it wherever you would want to save it and go back to it later. That's what I would do. I wouldn't bother with their folders because I've never been able to get their folders to work. So I'm going to close that. Let's go back here. So that was the complete analysis of the act. And um, let's see if it took me back to the, it's a little bit of a clunky database here. So it took me all the way back. I didn't want to go all the way back, but that's okay. So we'll just show it again. Federal library. So we went to table of contents, which is beneath that search box. This search box I find is terrible. So let's go to table of contents, federal library, tax legislation. And there was the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act right there. I'll just click on this organization. So it's a little looks a little different than it did last time because I just clicked all the way into it. Organization of the complete analysis. So we clicked on this. That was that huge document. Now you could go down here. There's all these other details on here. If I open this up, there's going to be an analysis of all these different areas. And it's it's a gold mine of information. It's it's a ton of information on this. Let's close that up. You also have code as amended, act sections not amending codes, committee reports, the legislation, the discussion in Congress that went into this. You can go as deep as you want to go with this. It's it's great. So it's it's a great database as long as you find the right place to go. And the search box does not work well. So let's look at another area here. Let's go back. And you could also just jump here and click federal. And that would take us all the way back to the beginning. So let's look for the, the other one we were looking for was the American Taxpayer Relief Act. So again, I'm not going to type it in here because this is just confusing. If you scroll down here to table of contents, let's go to the federal library. 
open this up, tax legislation, and it probably will be listed right here. So there's our complete analysis of the Tax Cut and Jobs Act. We're looking for the American Taxpayer Relief Act. Here we go, complete analysis of the American Taxpayer Relief Act of 2012. So if we click on this, it's going to take us in. Organization of the complete analysis. Here is that huge document, again, that really breaks it down in one very large document. There's all these other links in there you could click on. Highlights of the 2012 Taxpayer Relief Act. This is great. And this would be so helpful and it's so hard to find in their regular search box. So complete analysis, it's, it's great. Um, and this, there's a summary of all these things that it, you have. You can go into more depth with those other links. So there's that. Again, I would not use this here. This doesn't work well. I would use this export and I would export this document to my computer as a PDF. And then I would look at it on my own time and then I wouldn't have to worry about going back to this database. Let's go back. And then there's all of this. You open this up. Analysis. You can go to any of these chapters for further analysis. Um, and this is, you can go as deep as you want with this. It's, uh, it's really great. It's as much information as you could ever dream of finding on this. Okay. Again, I would use this to download it. Download everything you need. I download them as PDFs. I, I like PDFs. They open easily. They save easily. Okay. So that is a quick intro to how you use, um, RIA checkpoint. Some people call it Thomson Reuters checkpoint. Sometimes people just call it checkpoint. I do not use this search box because I do not find that it works very well. Generally, what I'm looking for is federal tax research. I generally go down here to federal library and to tax legislation. And everything that I've ever needed to find for the tax research I've done has been in here. Okay, that's how I use this database. Let's talk about another way you could research this as well. So this was great, very uh, huge, right? Let's go back to the library website and let's just use the regular search all databases search box now. Let's click here, advanced search. So that was, I moved pretty quickly there. I don't, this is okay. I usually just click advanced search right here. That took me in here. Here, I'm just going to type in, in quotation marks, Whoops, I got my caps lock on there. I don't need that. American Taxpayer Relief Act. And that's all I'm going to put in there. Make I put that in quotation marks so it searches that exact phrase. I hit enter or you could click search. Either way, it's going to do the same thing. And you have 114 different articles on this. And this is also great. These are going to be written maybe a little bit easier than the other database. These are great. Look at all these things. Wonderful. And this is, this is if we're just getting peer reviewed academic journal articles. I don't know if you need that for this. If you turn that off, then it will find everything on this. And there's 1,667 articles. If you wanted to get really specific, you could say only look for this in the title. So all the articles have to have this in the title, that exact phrase, since I put that into uh, quotation marks and look at that 170, way more information than you would ever need on this. Okay. All right, let's do another one. Let's do a new search right here. Let's look for the other thing we were looking for. Let's say tax cut and jobs act. I'm just going to put that much in there. Now I could get fancy here and say, or tax cut ampersand jobs act. They're both mean and I'm just covering all bases. I'm probably being a little uh, geeky about that, but I'm going to cover every way it could be in there. We're going to do a search here. Okay, we've got 30 things in there. Tax Cut and Jobs Act. Now, we could also probably don't need these to be peer reviewed, so I'm going to take this off. Now we have 442. We could do the same thing and say, just look for this in the title of the articles. There's 41. So 41 articles with Tax Cut and Jobs Act in the title and probably more than you would ever need. A lot of analysis in here. This plus the uh, Thomson Reuters checkpoint database, you'll have as much information as you need. Just remember, 
With Checkpoint, I do not use their search box. It's, it's sad their search box does not work well. But if you go down here, this is the great stuff. Go to Table of Contents, Federal Library, Tax Legislation, and find the act that you're looking for. Okay, I think if you follow those guidelines, this assignment will be pretty easy to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or you'd like to set up a meeting. Bye-bye, everybody.